Hi everyone, this is our lecture on the proteasome. So let's get started. To get a clinical perspective, let's look at a quick flash case. Let's say a 59-year-old male is preparing to be discharged after his two-month stay in the hospital to an acute rehabilitation facility, where he hopes to gain better mobilization. As he's transferred, he states, wow, my legs look like they've shrunk. Let's keep this in mind as we go through the lecture. Our learning objectives for this lecture are to identify the role of the proteasome within the cell and to recognize a clinical consequence of defects in the ubiquitin proteasome system. The proteasome is a barrel-shaped protein complex, as seen here, which principally functions in the degradation of proteins. Now, why would we want to degrade proteins? Well, maybe they're damaged, or they could be marked for degradation by being tagged by ubiquitin. Now, let me walk you through this with some visuals. So let's say we have this clump of protein, and for whatever reason, we don't need it anymore. Maybe it's defective, maybe there's too much of it, but we don't need it. So along comes this ubiquitin, and now with this protein, we have a ubiquitinated protein. Now it's tagged. So now it can interact with our barrel-shaped friend, the proteasome. And the proteasome can perform its function where there is this ubiquitinated protein in a proteasome. It can degrade the protein like this, and the ubiquitin and proteasome can be used again. Let's revisit some normal cells. Can you think of a reason where we would have change in cell size or number specifically decreased? Like in our flash case, it could be someone who hasn't been using his muscles, or it could be a situation where there is nerve damage, loss of blood supply, loss of hormonal stimulation, even poor nutrition. Can you remember what this cellular adaptation is called? Yep, you're right if you're saying atrophy. If you've ever wondered exactly how those cells shrink, well, then you've come to the right lecture. Part of it can be attributed to the degradation of cellular cytoskeletons by, you guessed it, the ubiquitin proteasome pathway. Remember, there are a number of cellular adaptations you can review, and atrophy is just one of them. Now that we've gone over that, can you think of what would happen if there were defects in the ubiquitin proteasome system? Can you think of any conditions where there's an accumulation of proteins? Well, defects in the ubiquitin proteasome system have been implicated in some cases of Parkinson's disease. Stop right there for a moment. What is the role of the proteasome again? Yes, the proteasome degrades damaged or ubiquitin-tagged proteins. Great job. So let's get back to this case. This man has been in the hospital for two months and he's getting discharged, which is great. But he's not going home. He's going to a rehab facility to get better at mobilizing, which must mean he's currently not ready to mobilize on his own. And he's saying his legs look like they shrunk. What happened here? Well, he likely spent a lot of the past two months in his hospital bed and didn't use his muscles, particularly of his legs too much, which may have undergone atrophy due to disuse. And so his skeletal muscle myofibrils were removed by the ubiquitin proteasome system. Well, we've made it to the end. What's the bottom line? Proteasomes are barrel-shaped protein complexes that degrade damage or ubiquitin-tagged proteins. Defects in the ubiquitin proteasome system have been implicated in some cases of Parkinson's disease. That's all I have for you here. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and it'll give you the opportunity to submit a comment if you have any feedback or questions. Thanks for joining me. Study hard.